Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about Watcher. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, let's get to it. Pros. Darn. Well, this movie here it has really good reviews. I mean, I'm on Rotten Tomatoes right now off screen. It's at 84%. I don't see how anyone can call that a bad thing. And unlike Crimes of the Future, it's audience score is actually decent it's at 83 percent so we're not gonna have like a <laughs> this movie's not gonna turn off anyone so yeah that's an obvious pro good reviews apparently good word of mouth it also helps this movie is a lot more appealing <laughs> than crimes of the future so yeah definitely has that going for it so that's a pro uh when it comes to I guess, you know, competition. There's no real direct competition. Yes, there's Crimes of the Future, but that's a completely different horror movie. I already mentioned in Crimes of the Future, that video. Men didn't do good. Firestarter was an embarrassment. <laughs> so both, so those movies are pretty much done. And there won't be any horror movies until The Black Phone. That doesn't release until three weeks' time. So this movie... It won't have direct competition to deal with for a while. So, that's good. That's a pro. Um, <laughs> I'm really struggling here. Oh, this is from Shudder. Yeah, Shudder is like... You see, it's really small on the screen, like down there. I know of Shudder. I know they have a good reputation for releasing like horror movies. And there's horror content in general. So I guess that's a pro. Shudder being <laughs> associated with this. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I literally... I can't think of anything else. Okay, well, I guess I can say... Well, I already mentioned how this movie's more appealing than Crimes of the Future. So there's nothing else to say when it comes to pros. Cons. No one knows this movie exists at all. Hell, I barely knew this movie existed. <laughs> You know, it was listed as a wide release for a while, but I was like, is it going to be wide? I don't know if it is. I don't think it's going to be, but then lo and behold, it became wide, which is why I'm even making this video. <laughs> so, yeah, like, the fact that I didn't even know this was going to be a wide release at all should really tell you that just no one knows about this movie. Like, it, it barely exists. It really does. Like, it's only in, like, 780... No, 760-something theaters, I think. It doesn't say it here. But it says in, like, that... Yeah, around that amount of theaters, which... It's not good. <laughs> That's barely... Barely wide. That barely qualifies as wide. So... Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> so... Yeah, just lack of attention. In fact, I haven't seen a single YouTube ad for this movie. I haven't seen one. <laughs> so that's not good so that's a con lack of attention the fact that i didn't even know it was going to be a wide release until the last minute so that's a con another con is that well obviously people are, are watching top gun maverick and nothing else right now i mean the box office numbers don't lie i mean let's look at top gun maverick real quick <laughs> top gun maverick this is Thursday. Made 14 million on a midweek Thursday. This isn't even like last week with previews. This is like pure box office here. Making this much on a Thursday, a non holiday Thursday, that's mental. <laughs> so obviously that has all the attention and this has none. So yeah, not to, not to mention. All the other movies that are out right now, like Bob's Burgers, the movie, Doctor Strange 2. Down Abbey 2. It's a whole bunch of bad guys. Everything, everywhere, all at once still has a pulse, which is insane. Not to mention, I, I can't believe I didn't mention this in Crimes of the Future. Morbius. Yeah, the movie of all time. That's coming back to theaters this weekend in more theaters than this. So, the like, the fact that Morbius, the meme movie of 2022... You know, it's re-release is getting more attention than this. Should really tell you something. <laughs> so, yeah. Competition right now. You know, all the options out there. 
Yeah, that's going to hurt. But what, you know, want to know what's going to hurt even more? What's coming up? <laughs> Next week, Jurassic World Dominion is will no doubt hurt every movie that's out right now. And then Lightyear will do even more damage. <laughs> and then at the end of the month, you got Black Phone and Elvis. And then at, by that point, this movie's going to be out of theaters. <laughs> so, yeah. Not great. So, competition now. Competition in the future. This movie's going to get killed. So... That's a con. Big con, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, really. I don't have much else to say at all. So, opening weekend. Oh, God. <laughs> this is hard. I think Could it reach a million dollars? I mean, Family Camp was able to reach a million dollars, and that was like an 800 theater. So, theoretically, this could do the same. Um, I'm going to stick with a million. I wouldn't be surprised if it did worse, but I'm going to stick with a million. That's what I'm sticking with. That's what I'm going with. A million dollars for the three days. It's total, I don't know, three, two, three, four million. Maybe within that range, probably. It could be like hella front loaded. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this movie's not going to be really seen by anyone. It's going to be quickly forgotten about. So yeah. So that's Watcher, and that's it for the weekend. I know it was pretty, it was a pretty nothing weekend. Which again, like I understand that no wide release wanted to release their movie. No wide release wanted to come out and get sandwiched in between Top Gun Maverick and Jurassic World Dominion. I get that. I understand that, but. Could have done something. You didn't. It didn't even have to be a big movie. You could have just made like a mid-range movie. Hell, Down Abbey Two probably would have benefited coming out this weekend because its target audience isn't quite the same as Jurassic World Dominion or Top Gun Maverick or something similar. to Down Abbey Two could have done okay this weekend and would have had one weekend to shine before it got demolished. But no, they didn't do that. Instead. They released two nothing movies. <laughs> so, yeah. But next week, that changes. I don't know if I'm going to do Block Party. That's debatable. But Jurassic World Dominion, I know I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to be a lot to talk about regarding that movie. So, stay tuned for that. And not to mention that the week after that, Lightyear. It's a lot to talk about that movie, too. <laughs> a lot to discuss. And then at the end of the month, we got The Black Phone and Elvis... And then I'll be it for June. I know June is just... <laughs> there's nothing in June. There's a real lack of movies. But at least there are interesting movies. You know, we got Jurassic World Dominion and Lightyear. Which should not be the big hitters of the month. So, at least we got that. But, yeah, we really need... I really need content. I need more movies coming out. <laughs> but not too many. I need, like, a decent amount. More than this. But, anywho... Yeah, that's it. So... That's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. Want to watch more uh, videos like this? Got playlists on the homepage of all previous prediction videos I made this year for all any movie that was a wide release, big or small, from Top Gun Maverick to Watcher. <laughs> you know, I covered them all. So if you want to watch any of my predictions on those, how they went. Uh, you can go right ahead. Watch Morbius. Watch that prediction video again. Now that it's getting re-released this weekend. But keep in mind my thoughts on Morbius. Uh, this was like before it became a big meme online. So yeah, just warning there if you're interested in watching that video. But yeah, go watch all the other prediction videos I made this year. There's also the canceled series where I go over all the movies that are supposed to come out but didn't. I didn't cover Watcher once, didn't cover Crimes of the Future once, so yeah. I did make a cancel episode yesterday, part 129, where I talked about Secret Headquarters, Man from Toronto, you know, Man from Toronto getting a Netflix date, Secret Headquarters going to Paramount Plus. No one really cares about either movie, <laughs> so there's that. But if you want to watch that video or any other cancel episodes I made, you know, they're all 129 of them. You can go watch them in chronological order from beginning to now. Binge it. You know, I, I encourage it. 
There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. Did the May recap earlier today. Uh, so the June recap will come out in between Minions 2 and Thor Love and Thunder. So after 4th of July, midweek, it should come out then. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past uh, recap videos I made on the channel, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.